Hey folks, Damon here. Today I want to do a quick intro to EMR Studio. So I want to show you uh, what EMR Studio is, how you log into it, how to connect to a Git repository, and then how to run through a sample notebook in EMR Studio. So let's get started. I've got a studio here that I've created via CloudFormation, and I'm already logged into the studio because the way that Studio works is it connects to AWS SSO. So you can see in my SSO account over here, I've got my one Decor account that I've connected to. So when I go into EMR Studio, I've already logged in with AWS SSO, and now I'm in the studio. When you're in the studio, you can create a new workspace uh, for different users or for different groups or, or what have you. So if I go ahead and try to create a workspace, I could name this Damon's Workspace. Oops. Damon's Workspace. I can add a description if I want to, and then a subnet. This will auto-populate based on uh, what subnets you have available for your workspaces. There's also a bucket down there for you to store the output of your notebooks. So you can go ahead and create that workspace, or you can also click through to the advanced configuration, and this allows you to connect the workspace to different EMR clusters or create a new EMR cluster. So you can e either attach it to an existing cluster. You can create a new EMR cluster if you want to. This is actually pretty cool because you get this really simple interface down here to create a cluster. So you can just say, give me EMR release X or Y. Um, it pre-configures the applications for you, and then you can select whatever instance type you want there. So super easy way to create a cluster straight from your workspace. The other thing you can do is you can use a cluster template. This is really handy if you have pre-configured EMR clusters that you can use for different uh, groups of users or groups of people or, or something like that. If you're not familiar with Service Catalog, what this is is a predefined template that lives in Service Catalog. Uh, Service Catalog is a way to take uh, templates like CloudFormation templates and share them within your organization so people can provision different pieces of infrastructure really easily. I've got a cluster template that I put in here that as a an EMR 6.2 cluster that has matplotlib pre-installed. So matplotlib is a you know, data science library to do different types of plotting and whatnot in notebooks. I've also installed basemap, which is a way to uh, put uh, different things on, on maps, of course. And the reason that I have this cluster pre-created is it also requires installing additional operating uh, system level packages. And so this cluster here, this template, if you select this, it'll go ahead and start up a new cluster with that template and um, all the stuff pre-installed that you need. So I could go ahead and create workspace here, but I already have my own workspace created. So you can see I've got my decor workspace that is attached to a cluster. So let me go ahead and open that. The other thing while it's opening, you can also connect EMR Studio to EMR and EKS, and I'll demo that in a later video. So we've got our uh, Jupyter Lab notebook spinning up here. And like I said, I've already got this attached to, a, to an EMR cluster. So this should spin up, and I can click over here, and I can see that I'm attached to my EMR Studio matplotlib cluster. If I go to my file browser, we've already got a nice little um, decort. Um, notebook, I can select my kernel, and I can immediately start going in here and doing some uh, some fun coding and editing or what have you. So that's that. But one of the things that we want to do is we want to be able to connect to a Git repository as well. So I've got a Git repository full of demo code. And for this specific demo, inside of EMR Studio, I've got a notebook that I'm going to use to uh, draw a map of the weather on any given day since about 1979. So let's go back to EMR Studio, and I'll click on the uh, Git Repository button here, and I can add a new Git repository. So I'll just call this one Demo Code. Oops. I'll add the repository URL and the branch name. Now, if I wanted to, I could add in my Git credentials here to connect to the repository so I could write back to the repository. But right now, I'll just use this public repository without credentials. That allows me to pull down the notebook files. So I've created this new repository. You can see I've done it a few times before already. So let me go ahead and link that repository with my studio. So all this is doing in the background, it's going out to GitHub, connecting to the repository, and cloning the repository into um, my, my workspace. So I can take a little bit just to do the Git clone and pull that out all down. But once that's done, what I should be able to do is I should be able to go into my repository inside this workspace here and look at all the files in there. So I'll go to the file browser, and you can see now I've got this demo code folder here. So this is my new Git repository, and this is the repository I was just looking at at GitHub. So I'll go into EMR 
Studio and open this Weather Day notebook here. So this is the notebook that I have um, on the GitHub repository. We just pulled this down. I'll walk through some of what's happening here. First, I want to mention that um, I used the cluster template. I used that matplotlib cluster template. So let's hop over to EMR really quickly. Uh, the folks that are working in Workspace don't necessarily need to see this, but I just wanted to um, point it out. So I've got my studio that was auto-created by, uh, or sorry, my cluster that was auto-created by EMR Studio. And the other thing that I did in here, I mentioned I uh, installed matplotlib. And so all that did, that just did a conda install of base map. So that took care of um, installing all the operating system things that I needed. So going back to my notebook, in here, I can still do a pip install and install different libraries. If some of them are installed already, that's totally fine. That'll be normal. But what we'll see is that um, we'll see that the requirements are already satisfied. And so I can go down there. I can see all the uh, libraries that are installed in the cluster, and we're good to go. So let's take a quick look at what our data, data looks like. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use uh, weather data from the registry of open data. And this is... Um, gives me daily precipitation or temperature readings, which is really, really nice. So let's take a quick look at what that data looks like. I'm just going to open that ZR file on S3 for December of 1987. So we can see what precipitation may have looked like on that day in December 1987. So pretty straightforward. Now we're going to build a weather map of data for any given day. So what we'll do is we'll use a combination of input parameters. One of the cool things about EMR Studio is you can actually parameterize the notebooks and run them later on. So we'll do that. And then um, what we'll do is we'll pull down this data and we'll draw a nice little map. So you can see here, this cell has my weather date. So I'll go ahead and execute that. One thing I want to call out here is this has a parameter tag on it. So if I go into the little wrench icon over here, under advanced tools, you can see the cell metadata has this parameters tag on it. What that means is I can run this later and I can override this as an input parameter. So pretty cool, that'll come in handy. The next thing I want to do, um, I've got a couple of utility functions here, just making uh, date strings human readable. Um, here's a couple functions for reading the data from S3 for air pressure, air temperature, and precipitation amount, and then just converting it into the format that I need. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and I'll open all that data from S3 for my given weather date. I'll pull out all those values. And then let's go through and execute a few of these. And then I'm just going to use matplotlib to go ahead and draw myself a map of the weather on that given day. So we'll, we plot the temperature data, we plot the uh, sea level pressure, and then we also plot the precipitation. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, and that'll pull in all that data. And then we can see here's the weather for January 13th, 2020. Pretty cool. You can see all the different uh, temperature gradients, pressure gradients, all that kind of stuff. So awesome. We've just uh, gone ahead created a notebook, ran it through, and uh, did that really easily, connected it to the Git repository. So the other thing I want to show is how can we uh, run this again for a different date. So I've got a little demo over here, and what I can do is I can use this AWS EMR start notebook execution command. I need the editor ID, which just um, I can pull that out from there. So let me actually go in and get the correct editor ID. Put that in there. Um, I can add my notebook parameters. So this is the weather date that I mentioned before. I'm going to change this to uh, February 12th of 2021. There was a big snowstorm in Seattle that day. So I kind of want to see uh, what the weather looked like for that day. I add the path to my notebook. So that is the um, demo code EMR Studio weather day notebook. Uh, and then I need the execution engine too, which is going to be the cluster. You can find this if you go back out to your EMR Studio here. You can change the settings here to look at both the um, ID of the workspace as well as the cluster that it might be connected to. So you can see that we are connected to this J20 cluster here. So that's what I'm going to use in my execution engine. And then of course you need a service role that's going to execute it. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that. And what this will do is this will submit a new command to the EMR API to say, hey, go and run this specific notebook in um, with this specific engine and this specific parameter. And EMR goes downloads that notebook, spins it up, adds in the parameters, and runs it through. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like. I can describe my notebook execute I can describe my notebook execution and I can put in the um, notebook execution ID. And we can see down here that right now it's starting. So the EMR um, 
cluster is going ahead, starting that notebook, and it's going to run through that entire notebook that I just had with the parameter that I specified. So this is pretty cool because you can run these through as part of your workflows. You can add this to Apache Airflow if you wanted to run notebooks through Airflow or what have you. And we can see that that's going ahead and running now, so that should finish up pretty quickly here. So what happens when this runs? It pulls down that notebook, it runs it through, and then it's going to put it back out on S3. So you can see there's this output notebook URI here. And this puts the notebook output back to S3. So anytime you run these notebook executions, the output of the, output of the notebook gets dumped back to S3. So let's see if this is done now. It looks like it's finishing up. I'm going to go ahead and copy that notebook to um, whether outputs a local file here. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead, so it's copying that down, all good. I'm going to go back to my EMR Studio here. I'm going to go back to my workspace and in my file browser, I'm going to upload this output file to my file browser. So I'll click the upload button, select weather output, and that takes a minute just to kind of upload that back to your, um, your workspace. And so in a second here, that should show up. So now we've got our weather output. And if I go here, this is the same exact notebook that we saw before, and it just went through and ran through the notebook. The one thing I do want to call out is now, you see right below this parameter um, cell that I had here, this is the input parameter that I specified. So in my default notebook, I had uh, 2020.01.13, and then with the EMR notebook execution, I specified February 12th. So if I scroll down, here's my image output for February 12th. Holy cow, <laughs> you can see it was pretty cold that day. Um, huge cold sweep coming down into the US. And over there in Seattle, you can see uh, pretty cold over there as well. So uh, super easy to also take your notebooks and run them through with uh, with the start notebook execution command and inject parameters into the notebook. So pretty cool. That's uh, super a quick intro to EMR Studio, how you can spin up notebooks, connect to Git repositories, and run them through um, uh, parameterized, parameterized execution. So uh, next time, we'll probably talk a little bit about EMR on EKS and how you can connect your notebooks to that. So thanks. Have a good one.